Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Pat Nappy here from pnlearning.net. Uh, I've got another video here in my series on the SAT practice test number two. Uh, we're gonna be going through a question from part three on this test, which is the no calculator section. Um, just as a reminder, this test is no longer available on the College Board website. Uh, I dug it up and I'm going to be going through all of these questions, both part three and part four. And if you just look on my channel, you'll see playlists for both parts and you can see the solutions to all of these questions. I try to do them as quickly and as easily as possible. Okay, so we're going to be looking at number 15. All right, we have an expression here. It says 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 is equivalent to which of the following? Now, if we look at these answer choices, we're going to notice that there are um, a couple of different things happening. Um, it looks like in three out of the four choices, we are able to split a single fraction, right? We're starting with a single fraction here. And it looks like it's gonna get split up. Um, so A is just completely out of the question. It's trying to get you to make a common mistake. They kind of just cross out the X's and want you to assume that you, since you have an X over an X, you can just kind of eliminate it and it doesn't exist. And you just have five minus two over three. So that is of course not how it works. You can't just erase X's, especially um, if we end up having something adding or subtracting with them. So that really leaves us with B, C, and D. Um, so. How can we kind of take this um, fraction, right? We have 5x minus 2. How can we take this fraction and split it up into two parts? So the way that we can do this is by using a process called polynomial division. Um, we can actually go ahead and try to see if we can divide x plus 3 into 5x minus 2, um, much the same way we would do long division. Um, the way that this works is you kind of just focus on the first term. Uh, in this case, uh, our first term is x, and we're gonna try to see x times what gives you 5x, right? How many times does x go into 5x? And of course, x times five would give you 5x. Then what you do is you take this five and you distribute it down to x plus three. Five times x would be 5x. Five times three would be 15. And just like in long division, we're gonna end up just subtracting and seeing what gets left over. Um, and 5x minus 5x will cancel out. Then we have negative two minus positive 15. Uh, remember that if we subtract a positive, we're really just subtracting. And so it's negative two minus 15, that would be negative 17. Now, when we do long division, we take our remainder and we put it over what it was that we were dividing. So we end up getting an answer here. We end up getting that the 5x minus 2 divided by x plus 3 is going to equal 5, right? But you're going to have to add on this remainder and then that's going to be negative. So it ends up being 5 minus 17 over x plus 3. That is the quickest way that I can think of, of sort of dividing out um, x plus 3. Um, maybe there's a quicker way. If there is, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. But with all of that being said, we've got an answer. We've got choice D. And polynomial division is very, very helpful. It's a very good shortcut, and you don't always learn that in Algebra 2. Uh, it is part of the Common Core curriculum, but it could be one of those topics that teachers skip over as they sort of start to rush and try to pack everything in towards the end of the year. Um, so that is a brief example of how to do it. Um, definitely, I will make a longer video about polynomial division. So if you would be interested in a video like that, definitely subscribe to my channel and uh, definitely throw this video a like if you found it helpful. Uh, also, feel free to share it with anybody else who's going through the SAT math section and is just having trouble getting ready for the test. Um, if you can think of a better or quicker way of doing this problem, definitely leave me a comment. And if it is quicker than what I just showed you, I will remake this video and share that one out with the rest of the group. I also wanted to remind people that I offer one-on-one -on -one SAT prep and group SAT prep at my website, pnlearning.net. Check the link in the description. And um, just be aware that uh, I offer group SAT prep cheaper than almost anybody else out there. SAT prep can cost anywhere between $100, $150, $200 an hour. So my six week SAT prep course, which meets once a week uh, for six weeks leading right up to the test, uh, is a total of 12 hours and my price averages out to be $33 an hour. So there's really nowhere else that's offering $33 an hour for SAT prep. So definitely find 
find your way to my website if that's something you might be interested in or find helpful. Um, that's it for number 15. Um, this is the last of the multiple choice questions on section three. The next video is going to be going into the open-ended answers uh, for part three. And um, thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you for number 16 next time.